back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then a very big hello. My name's Louise and hello from the USA. <laughs> so today is a really fun, exciting video, as you can see by the title. Today we are going on a day trip to Pennsylvania. I'm so excited, it's so spontaneous. Me and Jake both had the day off and then we've seen there's a few things that we wanted to do in Pennsylvania. It's not too far at all. Basically, we have been to Pennsylvania twice um, on our road trip down to New York City, once with Jake's family and then once with my brother and his girlfriend. And we've stopped to get pictures at the Pennsylvania sign, but we've never physically stopped and done anything there. Now, I always make TikToks. If you don't follow me over on TikTok, make sure you go follow me. Um, but basically, everyone says I should stop and explore Pennsylvania because there's actually so much to do there. So I thought we could see how much we can do today. We're not gonna get a, like everything done. And this morning we have woke up to snow. I don't know if you can see it in the background. One thing I'm really excited about going to Pennsylvania is at the minute I am a addicted to dance moms and it's in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're not even going to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania because it's so far away. It's like the other side. But I just love the fact that I'm going to be in the state that dance moms was filmed at, which is pretty cool. We're going literally, I'll upload a map here. We're literally just going by the border of like Buffalo, just slightly down. We're not going to go too far because I didn't realize how big Pennsylvania was. It's absolutely huge. But yeah, I'm really excited to try some of their food. Um, and I've heard really good stuff about Pennsylvania. So come with us on a day trip. Dake is with us here too. We have just stopped off at a Duncan. Guys, if you know me, you're going to be shocked. I have got a hot coffee from Duncan and Jake's got bagels. You know what are they called? These two we got for free. I don't know why. We just stuffed bagels with cream cheese. Why is that one free? Do you want to try it? Yeah. Why did you eat the other ones? I ate my ones. Maybe they just put them in there because they liked our accent. Maybe. Oh, it's like cream cheese inside a bagel. I don't know if you like that. Mm. Do you want to finish it? I got my mini hash browns, but yeah. I've never had a hot coffee from Duncan ever. If you know me, my order is an iced caramel latte. Well, iced latte, small with two pumps of caramel. But I'm just freezing cold this morning. God, that's actually really good. You can have that one. No, I don't want the whole thing. Well, half no, it. No, you have it because I've already had three. Oh, I'll half it with no, you. you can have it. And I also got my mini um, hash browns. If you don't know about Duncan mini hash browns, you need to know they are so good. But oh my God, I'm so happy about these. You can have that one. Mmm. Because driving, we need to get some fuel. Um, we'll let you know how much the fuel is because I know some of you guys find that quite interesting. And then we're heading down. Apparently it's about two hours and 20 minutes. Uh, two hours. Two hours. So let's go to Pennsylvania. PA. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys will see, but we um, we fuel up at Delta Sonic. It's one of the cheapest, and it's three eighteen a gallon. I think that it's called here. Yeah, we fill up in gallons in the states, and liters in Canada and England. So it's actually cheaper to fuel up in. Um, the states which is good i just can't believe we woke up to snow today the one day we wanted to go on an adventure and um it happens to be snowing but i've have done some research and there's some really cool things to do like i seen that there was an elk county and there's like an elk forest that you might get a chance to see an elk and i'm like oh my god that would be a dream um jake wants to go to somewhere called a zippo museum I have no idea why he wants to go there, but it's free. So I was like, okay, if you want to go, we'll go. Um, <clears throat> we'll probably stop at a mall or somewhere because it's zero tax in Pennsylvania. And yeah, we're just going to take today as it comes. There's an old town and things like that. So Jake has just stopped off at this fuel station to go to the washroom. We're right on state line and he's asked me to undo the window and he's got something in his hand. What have you brought me? I bought you a pickle. <laughs> no. <laughs> What? I just said it and I wanted to get you a pickle. What flavour? Oh my god. This is the one that's going all over. Babe, this is going all over TikTok. Did you know that? Oh. Literally, Liv's been looking for this because it's been going all over TikTok. Did they have different flavours? It was only that. That was the last one. That was the last one? Yeah. It says hearty dill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's absolutely huge. I'm gonna have to try this. Thanks, babe. How did you know that we were looking for these? I had no idea. 
Head south on US 19. What was it like in that gas station? So because cool. it was, uh, what is it? I believe it's First Nations gas First station. First Nations. Is it cool in there? Yeah, it's got a lot of like, handmade like First Nations stuff. It's really oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Oh my God, I can't believe I got a pickle. This is so exciting. Right, next stop, Pennsylvania. I think we are 10 miles away, so we're not too far. Okay, so we're just coming up to state line, and I don't know if you can see on the right there, but all the bear signs, that's actually the very first bear signs that we've seen while traveling um, North America. On all of our other road trips, we've never seen those bear signs before, which is quite cool. Uh, so we're about to cross state line in three, two, oh, I count down a bit too early. Um, Right, I can see this. I was a bit bigger this one than the last one. Sorry if the wind's a bit, window's a bit dirty, but it's been freezing rain the whole way here. And there it is. Welcome to Pennsylvania. So yeah, we have just crossed the state line into Pennsylvania. Took about an hour and 50 minutes to get here. And yeah, we're excited to see what there is to do we are just eight minutes from the first attraction which is the zippo museum it's something that jake's wanted to do yep. for a long time it's free of charge so i don't mind tagging along to see what there is there and then we'll do some stuff that i want to do and obviously try some good food uh, see what pennsylvania is known for and try it and things like that and yeah i just can't believe we've seen a bear sign well not one about 10 didn't we like 10 in the but Jake said they're in hibernation at the minute, so we might not get the chance to see one. Um, but imagine if we did, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so we have just arrived. It's just started snowing here. And we are at the Zippo Museum. This is something that Jake really wanted to do. I have no idea what to expect, so I'm going to take you guys with us. It might be brilliant, it might not. But anyway, it's worth to go have a look. This is in what town? Bedford, Pennsylvania. Bedford, Pennsylvania. It's literally right on state line. We've just crossed and it's right there. But it, we have fortunately brought the snow with us. It was a freezing rain for a little while. I don't know if you can see, but it's all like frozen. I'll show you the outside of the car too. Like, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up. Oh, I just got an electric shock. But this is all freezing rain. So it rains and it like sticks straight away. Oh my God, I've never seen anything like that. That's crazy. Okay, so we're coming into the Zippo Museum. Jake, that's so cool. Do you want to take a picture? That's made out of all the Zippos, isn't it? Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> you look like King Zippo. <laughs> this is actually really cool as well. So it's made out of all, it's obviously the US flag, but it's been made out of like loads of different, like different Zippos, which is quite cool. Obviously this is free, it's just a walking experience. And then, then there's a store as well there, which has actually got some really cool stuff. I'll show you around there in a second. Um, so I guess this is just all about how Zippo's came about. If you're in the area and it's raining and you're looking for something to do, I think it's quite cool. This is actually so cool. So it shows them obviously using Zippo's in the wall. Oh my God, I didn't realise that there's such a, a big brand and company. I don't know if this is, they have these in the UK. Well, Jake, it's got all of the films that they're in. Oh, yeah, I, love it. I didn't even realise how big this all was. <laughs> okay, so we've just come out the Zippo Museum. I definitely think if you're in the area, just pop in. It's a free museum. It's only short, like it took not even two minutes to walk around. But it's just really cute to see where it was all made and stuff and just something to do. So Jake got his Zippo. He was actually going to get one that was already engraved um as like pennsylvania and there was like a really cool jeep one too yeah. but we found out they do engravings and it's only four dollars ninety per engraving so like one two three or four so he got two parts engraved doesn't matter how many letters it has on there so it worked out to be nine dollars and then the zipper was eighteen dollars because it was just a basic one so it wasn't too bad and i don't know if you guys are Oh yeah, there. So it says JP at the top, which is his initials. And he's got like Pennsylvania at the bottom and then the date he's got it. And I just think this is something really cute that we can also like keep in the family forever. Like you can pass it down. And they filled it for him. And um, we didn't know it came with a flint and the fuel already. So we ended up buying a flint and a fuel, but I'm sure Jake will use it in future. And then obviously 
if you watch our vlogs you will know we collect stickers everywhere we go and our very first Honda we ever brought in Canada we actually have the window from the back of it and we stick them all on there and one day when Jake has a garage he will put them all up but that's the sticker we got and then I have a denim jacket and I collect I collect what are these called patches patches to, to actually sew onto my jacket so I just got a zippo one which is quite cool and then we just got a flint and also the the fuel as well so that's everything we got from there to see where to go where to go next and it's still still in here the weather is not great but we're not going to let that ruin our time here in Pennsylvania and yeah let's see where we get up to next okay so we've just turned up to location and number two sorry if I say this wrong but Kinzu Bridge State Park and I, when I say there is hunting signs everywhere, I'm kind of scared to get out the car. So we're just walking, uh, driving towards the state park. So the reason that this state park is famous, well not famous, but well known, is the bridge. Now we're hoping it's open because it is the winter months and it the weather's not great today, but this is basically the bridge. And in the summer and fall, apparently it's beautiful. So we'll have to come back and do it again. But this is actually our first state park we've ever been to. Um, it's got us and RV parking, which is good. Which means it's going to be busy in the summer. <laughs> but on the way here, when I say there was all these hunting things on the trees, it was actually very scary. <laughs> um, but obviously, we didn't see any wildlife on our way. So this is the visitor center for um kinzu bridge i'm actually going to ask in there how to say it because i just want to make sure i'm saying it correctly and i'm excited to get out to show you i think i'm going to take the gopro because it does look windy out there and there's less of a, a wind noise um so let's move you over to the gopro okay so we're going to go into the welcome center first if it's open <laughs> 8 a.m till 4. i've got my moose knuckle coat on because it's freezing it's not too cold it's the wind it is the wind and obviously this is quite high up so this weekend holiday open oh wow oh my god wow that's the out viewing guys we'll pick this up on the way out yeah. oh my god that is what we're going to walk on, isn't it? Yeah. It's as large as the Statue of Liberty. That's big. That's huge. Guys, oh, that's what we're going to walk on. I'm going to have to do my coat up because I have a feeling it's going to be absolutely freezing out there. Oh my God. I'm honestly really excited. Are you excited, Jake? Yeah. We're 100% going to have to come back here in the summer because I just found this little board of things to do in Pennsylvania and how far they all are. So here's the bridge and then like within one hour, one minute, hour 30 and two hours, there is so much to do. Like obviously here, one hour and 15 minutes away is the Cook Forest where you can like kayak, hike at Chapman State Park, which is an hour away, another national forest. This is the Alp Country Visit Center where you get to go and see like loads of elks and then one that i really want to do is the cherry springs sky park in the evening so apparently you can see like the milky way from there and it'll be amazing to camp camp around there looks so good oh my god there's even a bold eagle that's a little bit further that's like two hours and 15. it says bring your binoculars oh my god there's actually so much to do here and there's also for the winter like a snowshoe trail okay so this was oh, I you were taking a picture <laughs> yeah yeah so this was the rail uh, trails name when it was here <laughs> and this is like where it all went to I did not know Pennsylvania had a Grand Canyon I'm gonna have to look that up and now it's only a short walk it's not like a hike hike but I think it's just so cool that this was a uh, once a railway yeah and now it's not and me and jake said even though it's cold and the scenes the trees don't look as nice it's still nice to do it where there's like no one here hardly because in the summer i bet this is absolutely heaving the original wow. 
off the original railroad. Can you walk on it? <laughs> Don't drop your phone. I'm not gonna walk on there because knowing me, I'll drop something down there. <laughs> So we made it to the end and oh my god we're the only ones on here right now and then here is a glass bottom so when you were oh my god i am literally standing the height of statue of liberty right now that is so cool and there's the bridge the old bridge that's collapsed Oh my god, pretty amazing. It is freezing cold on here. The wind is getting up, <laughs> but wow, this view is just something else. <laughs> it's very cold. It's so cold. <laughs> okay, so now we've just come off the bridge and it's nowhere near as windy. But we found out as well, is if you come in the summer, there's a hike down to the bottom, which is quite cool. It's nice that we're like the only people here and just in case you are coming in the winter double check it's open before you come because it's only open this weekend because it's a bank holiday weekend but it's normally closed in the winter. Oh wow this view is amazing this is pretty sick oh my right at the top there same height as the Statue of Liberty Oh my god, this is amazing. We just found this trail down, it says a picture trail and it brings us to here and then look at that. That is right through the middle. Right, the snow's coming down thick now. <laughs> Which crazy people choose to come on a hike in the snow? <laughs> that would be us. Yeah, I got some. Okay, now we're going to the gift shop. After we've got wind burn. <laughs> Babe, have you fell over? No one. You got snow on your bum? I've got. Oh, yeah. I just sat on that thing. Oh, oh it's cold. <laughs> Let's go to the uh, the gift shop. Okay, so we didn't know what to expect when we came here to Kinzu Skywalk, and oh my god, it's honestly breathtaking and the fact that it's breathtaking today when one is foggy two it's snowy and three the trees are like dead it was imagine what it's going to be like in the summer and the fall and the fact that we live two hours from here and we've never even been here like people say to me like why did you move to canada because there's so much to see and explore like two hours from our home is here but two hours from our home is like a million other places and it's impossible to explore everything like we've been here three years and we've only managed just to get to here so honestly like jake's here too yeah what did you think of it oh it was amazing so it's good breathtaking to see it. it yeah it's fantastic and of course like we want to come back in the summer and experience it in the summer but the fact that we were got to be here by ourselves on that trail by ourselves was pretty cool and i said at the beginning that there's not really a hike but i lied <laughs> there actually is a hike right to the bottom and coming back up i can imagine it being pretty hard the gentleman in there said that it does get extremely busy in the summer which i could only imagine because all around here is like rv sites and campsites and yeah it's just made us want to explore here more but anyway i want to show you what i got you know us very predictable people, me and Jake. <laughs> so we got our bumper sticker, which is like a full picture of it, which is cute. And then they, unfortunately, they didn't have a badge, but I picked up a pin because, guys, I did it. In Disney, I started collecting pins and I knew as soon as I started, everywhere I go, I need to get a pin. And they didn't have a badge here, so I ended up picking up this pin. And I tell you what, I absolutely love it. How nice is that? Jake, imagine here at a sunset in a nice day. It'd be amazing. Yeah, it'd be so, I just thought then because of the sunset and yeah. that, it's definitely on our bucket list. And then one thing I love about American visitor centers, um, gas stations, is that they have a million brochures of things to do in the area. Like it's, it's so good and it's all free. Like you can just take as many as you want. And basically I picked up a few of the 
date park maps so I can like plan and look at these at home for the summer. So I picked up those and in that is like the map of each state park, things to do in the area, what to do there, um, trails, wildlife. Oh my God, there's porcupines in this one. <laughs> Um, so things like that. So when I get home tonight, I'm gonna watch TV and sit and read through those And then I also picked up a bigger one. So it's like a bigger booklet of Pennsylvania State Parks and also a huge map It tells you all the waterfalls. It tells you each State park and what you can do there so obviously if you can like kayak or paddleboard there And then I just picked up one of the other things that I want to do here But I just need to see the season for it is this elk viewing park Which is an hour away from here, but I don't know if we have to be in season for elks So I'm just gonna quickly read through this now But another place that's literally at the top of my list now that I really want to come back and do with Jake is the cherry park Which is a star stargazing park. I honestly didn't realize that we're in the middle of nowhere but there's so much to do around here literally right now i'm sat in the car it's snowing outside and then look at this view like it's absolutely insane so we've been driving for about 10 minutes and we have not seen a one petrol station one tim hortons or dunkin donuts one restaurant or anything and we've just come to our first i've actually never been in a sheets babe Maybe we do a TikTok there afterwards. And we are going to eat in this barrel house. When I Googled the nearest restaurant when we were at the, the hike, this is what came up. Um, we don't know what it's gonna be like. It's got Bigfoot on the outside, which is actually really cool. How cool is that? It's called Barrel House Restaurant and Tavern. It's got these cool things outside. So I'm really, really excited to go in. I have no idea what the food's gonna be like. But there's quite a few cars out the front, so fingers crossed, it'll be good. So we've just sat down. I forgot to vlog the menu, but Jake's getting the Bigfoot book. <laughs> And I'm gonna get French onion soup, which is my favorite. And then it's all got about the bridge and stuff here. And then it was really cheap, wasn't it? He also got jalapeno poppers for like $4, but at home it's like $20 for jalapeno. And it, you could choose what it's like inside of it, cream cheese or... Cream cheese or cheddar. It wasn't cheddar, but some of it. That's weird, that, isn't it? Oh, I'm excited to you. Yeah. Cheers to our trip to Pennsylvania. We missed. <laughs> So my starter is a French onion soup and they give you crackers in America with soup. So apparently you dip them in. So I'm going to give it a go because I'm in America. I'm going to give it a go. And Jake got jalapeno poppers. I've never seen them like that before. We had them once. Yeah. Remember that take got? Oh yeah, and they were like that. Okay. Like years ago. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to try a cracker with my soup. By the way, my soup is amazing. So apparently Americans have soup with uh, crackers or soup. It's not bad. I just think I'd prefer bread and butter. So Jake got the Bigfoot sandwich and it is absolutely huge. And I just got a pulled pork sub and the fries look insane. They look so good. I'm so excited to try this. Jake just said to me, this is the best burger I've ever had. Ever. And, it's, and it's literally like 9.99 from little side street thing it's got all your favorite stuff in there hasn't it like and then i'm gonna take a bite of mine before i take a bit bite of mine first comes first the gherkin amazing mm. you're balanced on tomato ketchup right now this was this was a sandwich 9.99 sandwich look how big it is good so, so good. And these fries mm -hmm. are amazing. Guys. Oh, so with tip, it came under $50. It was like 38 something. And then I tipped obviously US dollars. And we obviously had two drinks and two starters. We really didn't need the starters, but our favorite starters were on the menu. So we were like, why not? And honestly, it was so good. Like, Finding a little stop on the corner is definitely worth it than going to like a chain restaurant. One, is cheaper, and two, you get better food. Um, we're just stopping off at Sheets now because I've never been in a Sheets. I'm not going to be buying anything because I'm so full right I now. I need a Sheets. <laughs> but um, we're just going to stop and just have a little look in here 
and then the snow is getting really bad and it is getting freezing cold outside so I don't know what we're doing next. So we have just stopped off at the University of Pittsburgh but in Bradford. Uh, there's the University of Pittsburgh here which is very weird because this is the only Starbucks this side of Pennsylvania. Um, Jake is literally walking towards the car there and he's got nothing in his hand. Basically, if you don't watch our YouTube videos and you don't know but we collect Starbucks mugs to every state that we go to, every province that we go to and every country and we've been to Pittsburgh, no we've been to Pennsylvania, this is the third time and we've never got a Pennsylvania mug so we googled a Starbucks and this is the only one this side and it just so happened to be in the university but I don't think he was in much luck because he has nothing in his hands and the snow has got so bad here now like crazy bad like I can't believe it and we're just going to stop off at a Walmart near here too before we start driving home because the weather's getting really, really bad. It's on our way home and it is 6.10, so 6pm, it's not even that late. And like the closer we're getting to Buffalo, well we're in Buffalo now, it's so bad, the snow. Like obviously it's not horrendous that it's thick on the roads, but just like vision wise because there's no street lights or cat size, it's really hard to see the road, isn't it Jake? Yeah. Um, coming back into going it's towards Canada dark, fast. so fast like this is mental like I thought we were over with snow and obviously I'm very wrong but I just text my brother at home in St Catharines and he said it's not snowing there so maybe this is traveling up but yeah we are not too far now from the border and then we'll catch up when we're at home 